welcome to another episode. We are already in September, but I'm still teaching kite surfing and also I am doing the paddleboarding lessons. So the first thing for today that we're going to do is the quest for my evening meal. I'm in this amazing area and I call it a magic forest because there's lots of greenery as you can see here lots of trees and you know this is one of the paths and main trails and all these paths can take you to this hidden areas of this of this just foresty greeny type of area now this is not far from where I'm staying with my motorhome so the food that we're gonna gather for me for my evening meal is the amazing blueberries check it out all these here this is the big massive blueberry bush and I found plenty of these around in this area so I've got my container here on my bike grab some of these amazing blueberries let's do it the spikes on these bushes are really 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 sharp and it's loads of them so I'm gonna move to another location try to get them from another place all right all these bushes on the right are the blueberry bushes just here, all that is the blueberry. All this. Another stop and another bunch of blueberry bushes. And one more thing, when you're next to these bushes, you can scent them so much. The smell is so good because some of them are getting like overly ripe. So they keep drying like this like this one here and they start to shrink and they start to die off but there's still plenty of the good ones so we're gonna get some of those all right these are this little hidden treasure and magical paths in this amazing greenery so see all that different paths different amazing areas to explore so this place to to go through it and you know go through all this little alleyways and secret passages and trails is probably the day of recording at least if not a week of recording <laughs> and another hidden passage let's check it out look at that what do you say about that hey isn't this amazing and look at this tree wow i think this area is really cool i already explored some of it but i will be exploring further and again plenty of fruits up in here and look at this look at the amount of snails as well look you see that these are not rocks these are snails this tree here is a plum tree it has got very small plums but i tried them and they're very tasty now in any event all these trees around this beautiful area they've got some sort of fruits on them and here we've got what an amazing apple tree so we're gonna grab some of these
I had to taste one of these apples. They're really small, but they're really, really tasty. Amazing. Blueberries collected for my meal later on for now. This is good. Another thing that we are going to do today is we are going to see a show called Ripple Sailing Circus Show. The reason why it's Sailing Circus Show is because it's performed on the deck of this 1926 two-mast wooden uh, ship, which uh, that group which one of their quotes is active uh, for climate. They are performing this contemporary art show, which is supposed to encourage people to kind of change their approach to ecosystem and, you know, lead to more sustainable outlook on the future of our existence. Think of it as suspension, evolutions, acrobatics. In between those two 20 meter masts of this wooden ship. So today at two o'clock, it's happening in Copenhagen. So we've got just before one o'clock, we're gonna go to this harbor area where they supposed to have their ship docked. That's been said, I'll see you when the show starts. All right, this is the area. I think the ship is right there. Just there. I'm gonna park the bike on this bicycle parking and let's have a look what's going on up there. At the moment, they've got this chat about the environmentalism. And in a minute the show will start, we've got like 15 minutes to go. But to be honest, the first thing I realized, I thought this ship is a bit bigger. But it's nice and very cool. Made of wood, 1926. Quite cool, eh? This saddens me uh, thinking about the current climate change and mass extinction. It makes me feel hopeless, helpless.
what did you think about the show? In my opinion, the powerful message and hear what I took out of it. Closer and quicker we get to our natural ways, closer we get to where we're really coming from and where we're supposed to be heading. And as always, remember, be inspired, be creative and be active. All is one and one is all. I'll see you in my next episodes.